Hi everybody, David Wesley here. Uh, for those of you that uh, have tuned in my channel and don't know, in uh, real life I'm a registered nurse. I work in a fairly large community hospital in the operating room. Uh, because of a state of emergency here uh, declared in the province of Ontario, I have been redeployed to the ICU uh, where I used to work. Uh, we have a number of COVID positive patients in here and I've taken care of them, a few of them myself. Uh, I'll be honest, it's, uh, it's a little overwhelming uh, with everything that's going on. Uh, policies are changing from day to day. Uh, the news that we're getting from our, our senior leadership changes from day to day. Um, there are issues with uh, supplies of medication. Um, global supply chains, of course, all over the world are, are disrupted. Um, and just yesterday, uh, we received news here that uh, President Trump wanted to uh, stop export of medical supplies from the U.S. to Canada. Um, you know what, I understand the desire to, you know, to put America first. Um, it's completely understandable. Uh, the largest manufacturer of N95s, 3M, is really pushing back against this. Uh, but what I think sometimes people forget is that we do live in an interconnected world and some of the components that go into medical equipment that's used in the States is created in Canada and then some of that gets shipped back. So we are all in this together. Um, just because of my increased exposure risk um, dealing directly with uh, COVID patients, I have moved into my basement uh, in my house so I'm kind of separating myself from my family. Uh, it's really hard on my sons, they don't really fully appreciate why I have to, to do that. Um, it's hard for, for my wife as well, I feel a little bit like a ghost in my own house. Um, so yeah, your prayers are appreciated, but uh, really we're just at the beginning of this thing and um, you know, who knows how long this is going to last. But God knew that this was going to happen long before uh, any of us did and he knows how it's going to end up. Um, yeah, so I do hope to launch a virtual choir project soon. I am in the process of beefing up my website. Um, my virtual choir Facebook group has grown past a thousand uh, members and um, there's definitely a lot of people interested in virtual choirs during this time. Um, there's a desire to, to enjoy music, a desire to be part of music and sing along, and I hope I can deliver uh, in that area. So there's a few things I want to be able to do to make sure that I'm ready for the flood of submissions I'm sure are going to come. Um, that includes uh, some more streamlined feedback systems for me so that when you send in your submissions through the website, I can tell you, you know, accepted, you know, rejected and provide feedback for resubmission with the click of the button rather than having to do personalized emails and stuff. Not that I don't like being personal, but when, you know, I'm expecting possibly a thousand submissions with this one, um, it just gets a little bit much. So my patrons are, were voting on what song we're going to do. They had a choice between two different songs, not telling you what it is yet, um, but it's pretty certain what it's going to be. So uh, I better get back to work now and uh, yeah, everybody stay safe. And remember, this is, this is a serious situation. Don't take it lightly. Keep your distance, wash your hands, and you know, be of good cheer. God bless.